Hello everybody, Andrew here from Team Respawn. I'm joined with Slash Storm, also from Team Respawn. Thanks. We're gonna do a very interesting Mythbusters Halo Wars video today. Uh, we're gonna... For this one, the myth is... Um, will Chain Gun Warthogs be about as effective in combat as the Grenadier Warthogs? Because if you look at it in multiplayer, the Grenadier Warthogs... Like, the Grenadier itself, I think it's worthless. Like, I see no point to it at all. It doesn't seem to do any damage. So we're going to put it to the test. We're going to fill up our population cap with Warthogs. He's going to have the Grenadier. I'm just going to have the Chain Gun. And we're going to throw them at each other and see how it works. Okay, send the Warthogs to the middle. Alright, so we're going to test out... Reserve. 15 Research. Warthogs, he has Grenadier, I have Chain Gun. Rolling out. Let's see how that works out. Let's see who wins. Wow. <laughs> Look at all the bullets flying everywhere. Alright, so that one was... Slaughter I fest. Can... Yeah, that was a slaughter fest. Alright, so I'm going to upgrade now to... Goss. And we're going to try it again. Okay. Okay, finished building. Okay, there we go. Alright, complete. Alright, we're gonna try it now with 15 Warthogs. I have Goss, and he has Grenadier. We're gonna see if that works. Give it to him. Okay, it's a slaughter oh, fest. It's a slaughter fest on this side now. So, I guess it is worth to say that it is definitely worth it to upgrade to Goss, Cannon, Warthogs if you're going to Warthog Rush, compared to just Grenadier. Nice testament to this. Yeah, Thank really you for that. Indeed. If you want to see all of our other Mythbustering episodes, be sure to check them out. I'm going to leave a playlist for you. Until then, thank you for watching. I'm Andrew, and that's Slash Storm. Bye. Did I already tell him that I made a playlist for everything? You just said playlist. Aha! Absolutely not! Freeze him up with cryo bomb away. Wars. There go half of my hawks. <laughs> hey, you killed yourself. Designing after that. You were gonna lose anyway, because I had four anti-air turrets. Hello everybody, my name is Andrew from Team Respawn, and this is a Halo Wars Mythbusters series. I'm actually not joined by Slash Storm this time, this is a Mythbusters I did on my own. And I wanted to see uh, how to get Goss Cannon Warthogs the fastest using the UNSC. So I thought the two most logical leaders to put up against each other uh, was Sergeant Forge and Professor Anders. Um, because Sergeant Forge, he gets heavy supply pads right away, so you get a lot more supplies faster but Anders has the half-price unit upgrades, uh, so all the upgrades for the Warthogs would take half the time. So I did two separate skirmish games here, and I um, kind of timed myself to see how it was going. And I thought that Sergeant Forge was actually going to be faster, um, but I was mistaken. I'm going to speed the video up, and um, I didn't hit the back button to look at the time right as soon as they trained, because I was an idiot and forgot. But I did look at uh, the editor and timed it just to make sure it was correct and actually professor anders is faster training goss cannon warthogs but it's not by much uh professor anders the way that i did it as you can see here in the video i did the same method for both uh leaders here um i trained the warthogs at goss cannon in six minutes and as professor F or not professor forge as sergeant forge 
I finished it in about like six minutes and 20 seconds, six minutes, 25 seconds, something like that. And uh, your mileage may vary here. I probably did something wrong. Another thing too, just to keep it balanced, is I only got, I think it was two or three sets of crates because even though I was playing on a 2v2 map, I could have went out and got like all the crates and got the Goss Cannon and Warthogs faster. But I feel like in a real Halo Wars game online, you're only going to get like two or three complete sets of crates before, you know, everyone takes them all or your Warthog dies or whatever. So um, that's the test and it, it worked out pretty well. I was actually kind of surprised on how fast Professor Anders was. Six minutes to Goss Cannon and Warthogs is actually really fast. And uh, you can, you know, go out and attack people with Goss Cannon and Warthogs really quickly before they even have most of their units out. So that concludes this Mythbusters episode. Nothing really too special here, but it was something cool that I kind of wanted to try out. If this is your first time watching Halo Wars Mythbusters, I really hope you check out the playlist that we made for all the videos in this series, because uh, we've done a lot of tests so far, and it's, it's actually really cool and exciting and really fun to put all these different units up against each other. And uh, we also do things like Halo Wars multiplayer, and we did a Halo Wars co-op walkthrough playlists are also on our channel thanks for watching my name's andrew from team respawn and i'll see you next time